this moment, we are going to calculate the wages in accordance with the RDP and overtime. So last meeting, we are done with the annual salary to monthly and annual salary to weekly. At this time, we will be having RD and overtime. Before we will be having the formula, let's talk about the rate in the Philippines. In the Philippines, the overtime rate is 25% of the hourly rate on regular working days and 30% on rest days and special holidays. Again, 25% on regular working days and 30% on rest days and special holidays. For the regular pay, the formula is your working hours times rate and for the overtime pay, your overtime hours times your rate and times 1.25 or 1.30. It depends upon the situation. If your overtime rate or hours is during the regular working days, it will be 1.25. But if your overtime hours is during the rest day and a special holiday, it will be 1.30. In other words, for OT pay, regular working days, regular working days, it will be OT hours times rate times 1.25. But if it is during special or rest days, special or rest days, it will be OT hours times rate times 1.30. There we go. Now let's move on. For example, let's say that you are working 40 hours per week, but the regular working hours is 40. So let's say 40 hours. And of course, you have an overtime hours, which is 8 hours. This happened during regular working days. Again, regular working days. So next, so 40 hours. So again, the rate of yours per hour is 200 best. So we need to them to get your regular pay. So 40 times 200, it is 8,000. It is 8,000. Now let's have your overtime pay. 8 hours times your rate, which is 200. And again, it is under regular working days. Regular working days. So meaning, you will use 1.25, so same as this. Now, let's calculate it using calculator. 8 times 200 times the overtime rate, 1.25, so you have 2 thousand now let's get the total payment 
or total wage. So in this case, in order to get your total payment, you need to add your regular pay, regular pay plus OT pay. So the answer is the answer eight thousand plus two thousand you will you we have ten thousand. So we receive we we will receive a total of ten thousand back. Us weekly as our wage. wage. Now your turn. Your task is to get your regular pay and overtime pay and the total pay if the overtime hours happened. Mm. Let's say a special and rest days. It happened during special and rest days. And of course, as we all know, your regular hours, the regular hours of your work is work. You will do this in. 15 seconds your timer or let's say 20 seconds your timer starts now. Okay. all right time's up Let's check your answer. For the regular pay, we have 40 hours times your rate, 250. So let's calculate it using calculator. 40 times 250. So the, your regular pay is 10,000. 10,000. Now, what about for the OT, overtime pay? So, you all, since you work for 50 hours, and we know that your the regular hours a week is 40, your OT pay will be 10, or your OT hours will be 10. Why? Because 50 minus 40. 50 minus 40. You have 10 hours of OT. All right. Again, you have 10 hours of OT. 10 hours times your rate, which is 250 per hour. And of course, since it happens during a special or rest days, your overtime rate is 1. 1.30 1.30 because it happened during special and rest days you will earn 30 percent you will earn 30 percent of overtime rate now let's calculate it using calculator you will be having 10 times 250 Times one point thirty. Here you go. So in ten hours of overtime, you will receive three thousand two hundred fifty. That is your overtime pay. Now for the total, like we need to add ten thousand and three thousand two hundred fifty. 10,000 plus 3,250. The answer is 
total wage of yours is 13,250. There you go. Now let's try to apply what we have learned in a work problem. So in this case, Dino works 46 hours in a week at 180 pesos per hour. Overtime is paid at 1.25 times the hourly rate. Calculate his total weekly wage. So let's have it. Dino works 46 hours in a week. So regular pay. As we all know, we have 40 hours a week times the rate, which is 180 per hour. So the answer, the regular pay of Dino, of Dino is 40 times 180, 7,002. Hundred pesos. Now, that's what about the overtime pay? The OTRs of Dino is six. Why six? Because forty-six minus forty. Six hours. This is the total working hours of Dino. Total working hours and the regular hours. So meaning. Regular working hours. So meaning he has six hours of overtime. Six hours times one point the rate one hundred eighty and times the overtime rate which is 1.20 pi. 1 point overtime pay, which is 1.20 pi, based on the problem. So the overtime pay of Tino that's, will be 1,350 overtime pay is 1,350. One so the total weekly wage, the total is, let's add the regular pay and the overtime pay, which is 7,200 and 1,350. 7,200 plus 1,350. What is the answer? 7,200 plus 1,350. So the total weekly wage of Dino is 8,550. All right. Now your turn. Can you try to do this for for twenty seconds? Your timer starts now. There you go, time's up, so let's go. So the given, Ella, or the question is, Ella works 40 hours a week at 200 per hour, and she also receives a 500 night shift allowance. So what is her total weekly pay? So the given, working hours, 
or DRs, RAID, 200, and incentives or allowance is 500 night shift allowance. What is her total weekly pay? So what are we going to do? First is we need to compute for the regular pay. So 40 hours times 200 pesos. 40 hours, 40 times 200 is 8,000. That will be the regular pay of Bella in working 40 hours because, that, because 40 hours is the regular working hours a week itself. So, there, so Ella doesn't have any overtime pay. And in the problem, it says here that she also receives 500 allow. So what are we going to do? The total pay, for us to get the total pay, is to add the regular pay, which is, which is 8,000 plus the allow once which is 500 so regular pay plus a la once so 8000 pesos plus 500 so the total is 8500 pesos will be the weekly pay of Ella. Alright? Thank you for listening. See you again in our next lesson. Goodbye.